Hey guys, this is the FL Skaters movie production, and today I'm going to show you how to apply a graphic on your fingerboard. Um, this one's just a prototype, like a template kind of thing. It's my new, not exactly, I didn't use a mold, I just used a tech deck, that concave tech deck to shape it and stuff. That's weird, the concave's not looking as clean, but... Anyways, this has a little bit more concave, and the kicks are a little bit better and stronger. So what you're going to need for your fingerboard graphic is some wood glue. Um, I have Elmer's, and I have this kind, I don't know, I think it's like Aline's or something. I, rec I don't recommend Elmer's wood glue because it takes longer to dry, and it's just easier to work with this kind. You're gonna need a computer, and it needs to be hooked up to a working printer. So you're gonna get a logo or a picture that you want as your graphic. You're gonna put it in like Microsoft or Paint or whatever you really want, and then you're just gonna print it. As you can see, my printer's really running out of ink, but after that, you're going to cut it out. You need your scissors, your cutout picture, your glue, your deck, and um, if your holes are already drilled, you're probably going to need a drill to drill them again because the glue will be pretty hard to break. So the first thing you're going to do just get your deck, put it, just sit it like that, and open your glue, and put a little bit of an amount onto the deck, here. Like that. That actually might have been too much. But um, then you're just going to get your finger and rub it all around the deck. Spread it evenly. So there's. Okay, so my deck is covered in glue. Then you're just gonna like get paper or something and wipe it on the paper. It shouldn't be too much, just rub your fingers together and it'll just come off. So then you're gonna get your graphic and get it how you would like it to be on the board and then just place it on top of the board make sure that it's completely on the board and if you use a good amount of glue then you'll be able to move it around and stuff so it's completely done if you look at it through the light you can see the deck make sure that there's no wrinkles because if, if there's wrinkles then it's going to mess it up Okay, so since this glue dries pretty quickly, I'm going to leave it out here for about 5 or 10 minutes and then come back. Okay, I know I'm going to sound kind of weird, but once it's dry, you're going to have to get it on your stomach and go like this. And push in. So that it's like that. And then the indention in the board. And then you can get like a memory thing or like a nail file. I mean, I don't have that, so I'm just getting a piece of veneer and then putting some grip tape on there. And then you're gonna. It helps if you go straight up and down because then it doesn't have any effect on the actual board. So just go lightly like that. And then it starts to come off. And then, once it's all cut out, I forgot to tell you what else you're going to need. 
You're gonna need lacquer. I mean, clear coat, lacquer, clear spray, pretty much anything that works as a clear spray. Then you're gonna put your deck right there, and you're not gonna spray too much. You're just gonna go. Don't spray too much because um, your deck isn't completely dry yet. Then you're gonna wait 10 minutes. And then you're gonna get your lacquer and do pretty much the same thing, just a little bit more lacquer. Oh, you though you see, I did a lot more. Then you're gonna wait 10 more minutes. And then you're pretty much gonna repeat this until you get about five coats of lacquer on. This is how I get my board so smooth. There's one more thing you gotta do. You gotta drill all four of the holes back through if they were already drilled, but if they weren't already drilled, then you got to um, just drill them how you usually drill them. And then after that, they're good. So, then you got a board with a nice graphic.